I'm a believer, I'm a believer, if I try. Quick idea, quick idea, quick idea. What? So when I look at these iconic, I don't know if the video is even recording, but when I look at these iconic video or pictures, like this land photo is gotta be one of the most iconic. These are like the rest of these just kind of like regular pictures here. Just a good dollar. It might that might have been a signature moment or so. But the rest of these just kind of like or this might have been championship maybe. The rest of them just kind of seem like normal highlights. This might have been championship as well. Or, you know, some type of playoff importance game. But, like, this Lynn right here, that I, I know where the game that's from. But, anyways, uh, what is up, guys? Real diversity here. Uh, we're going to be talking about Paul Millsap today. Um, by the way, guys, uh, we're going to be doing a video one of these days. So, if you are new to the channel and just, you know, Captain Catch this video, we will be doing a... Uh, uh, there's these free agent, a free agent game where we're gonna play like three games with this all free agent lineup. So if you're really interested in watching that or seeing that up, you know, just hit that subscribe button, man. Have your notifications on. We'll be doing that real soon. And okay, so Paul Millsap is the card of the day. So let's first break down his stats. Let's give him some uh, contract. Wow, we have a ton of contracts because we were opening a ton of packs uh, because the token market. So if you guys didn't know, this is a token rewards card and which you probably know, and the reason you're probably here is because you want to know maybe is this car worth it, which is probably the title of the video. So is this car, Paul, Mr. Up, worth it? And we're going to break down his stats. So I played a little bit with him already, and I must say 6'8", um, power forward. Main, mainly you want to put him at power forward. Um, it's his main position or small forward, but at 6'8", you know, it's always it's the height range where you're like, man, um, if you can't really guard at six eight then it's no i can't really run you at at power four you know what i'm saying so uh but i will say this straight off the bat his height is not a real um factor he does really well on defense guarding other fours and things like that so you will be fine he even does really well even guarding at centers if he ends up getting switched or something like that so this paul Millsap really does well and i might throw in a clip or so of his defense in here if i can get one um but yeah, so we're really gonna break down his stats real fast. So like I said, a lot of cards I might not have said this before, but if you didn't know, a lot of cards do not play like their stats always show. A lot of cards play better than their stats or they play worse than like what their stats may appear, but there's a lot of cards if you did not know who play better than what they look like on, you know, in the stat book. So anyways, I think this is one of those cards. And usually a big factor that is badges. Badges kind of make you better uh even like if your three isn't that high or something like that but if you got good catch and shoot and all types of like that or just even a decent release then you will make you know more shots obviously than if you um didn't have a good release and all that good stuff so okay so let's get break down to that so he's won a good post score so first driving layup isn't the highest but I'll also show you guys what stats go with the coach, but I know for a fact already that his driving layup does go up with the uh, coach, uh, diamond coach. So that's plus five to that, that driving layup. But off on the base, it is 87. Uh, post fade is 89, and his post moves are in low 90s. So drive, um, draw foul is pretty decent, 88. Uh, close range is pretty good. You, I, close shot, everyone's close shot to me at pink diamond and up, or even diamond and up should be definitely 99 because this is just a wasted this stat gets boosted too and it's i feel like a wasted stat that gets boosted a lot especially um with you know with your coaches and stuff and i just don't like how the stat you know usually it takes priority that stat gets priority over a lot of other stuff that i feel is more relevant but anyways mid-range is a 89 which goes up by five with the coach i know that the three does not go up it stays at a 90 even with the coach so if you want that higher not to put a shoe on them but 90 is decent enough his release is smooth enough, so it should be all good. Free throw 87, not worried about that. He does have, take note though, he does have a little slow free throw release. So if you do have to get this card, just uh don't, like, you know, a lot of times you funeral a lot of really quick games, a really fast game, paced games. You uh you, you get to the free throw line, you kind of just really try to shoot your free throws quick, but he has a slower release, so don't be careful not to, like, botch up that first uh, free throw with him. A driver dunk 80, which he dunks. 
I want to say he plays his athleticism is like a LeBron card, not like an Opal is LeBron, but like probably the current diamond LeBron that is out. He probably plays similar to that with a standard dunk of 85, a driving dunk 80. Uh, he plays really well, so ball handling is decent. This is this is point guard level ball handling, especially early game. Like this is like the ball handle James Harden has when the game first came out, like an amethyst. Am amethyst James Harden has like 86 ball handling. So this is really great ball handling. If you did not know his defense, like I said, here we go. Interior defense is ridiculously good. Uh, perimeter defense is also well, as you see, 86. Not the best because it's not 90. You got at least to be the best. You got to at least be a 90. But it is a 90 if you have a diamond coach or a, a balanced diamond coach. Steve Kerr, anyway. Um, it will go up by five, so he will have a 91 perimeter defense with the diamond coach. If you have Steve Kerr um, block uh, and steal, um, they go or they're pretty decent. So block's not bad, but he's not obviously only six eight. Uh, he should still be able to get some decent blocks, especially on like people his height and smaller guards and things like that. So yeah, but don't just be expecting him to block like. You know, seven, uh, seven, seven, one centers. Yao Ming, no Paul Gasol. Don't expect him to be getting up there. Mark Gasol. Don't expect him blocking those dudes. Um, or even, even Giannis. I wouldn't even expect him to block Giannis unless it's just pure luck. But eighty-five speed. So this is, um, like small forward range. So this is pretty good, especially if you're running him power forward. That's decent speed right there. He will out. Pace a lot of guys, and he will be able to. So basically, like say, say someone's running Zach Randolph. This car. He outpaces Zach Randolph, and he will be just as fast as Zach Randolph. Notice something here. Key to his strength, 95 strength, is a crucial, crucial, that is crucial in defending bigger guys. So a big thing with um, Josh Smith, a thing I did not like about him, he is also, he's a, actually one uh, centimeter or inch taller, um, but his strength was only 85. That Now, I felt like that wasn't really big enough, especially to only be like 6'9", six, 6'8". Six, but with a 95 strength, you're not really going to get bullied. So, that, I enjoy that. Stamina is high. Uh, lateral quickness, notice that too, is um almost 90. So, that is really great. And then his consistency is 95 for both. So, that is really well. So, he will be really consistent on defense. Look, this is bad just real fast. You've all probably seen this stuff, but I'm just kind of breaking it down. Like, this is a car breakdown video at the same time. So, you know, you might, if you might, you this is a car that you can already see his stats. But, like I'm saying, I'm just kind of um, verbally... Um, just kind of pin uh, my thoughts into what these stats also mean, really. So pick and roll, catch and shoot, Hall of Fame, um, cross key. So he has some scoring and defensive. He has strapper, pick and pop, contact finisher, defensive list tire. So he has like both ends, post move, lockdown. So, I mean, you really can't do too much against him in a post either. So, like I said, he really is great defensive leader. So when you have this car, this Hall of Fame, if you have defensive leader or whatever, or offensive leader, this is where it starts showing on Hall of Fame. This is where it shows your stats on, like, uh, it will show your stats. Like, it will show the percentage at the bottom of the screen or something like that. Or bottom of the players. You might have seen it. You're going to see it in the game anyway, I think. Uh, but I'm just going to go down so you guys see the rest of it. Quick first step. That is uh, pretty crucial for his size, too. I'm trying to look at this silver bash pick Dodger. So, like I said, another defensive bash there. Flex release. Um, downhill, so just knows with difficult shots. So, yeah, he can take he can take those uh, fadeaways and stuff too. So that's really well moving truck. So flashy passer too. Notice he notice his, let's look at his passing ability real fast. I didn't I think I skipped over that really fast. All right, it's not the best, but without badge, you will be able to do some flashy passes, uh, clamps, and stuff like that. So you know here's the you know obviously a plus on scoring, playmaking is his only downside. Which if you don't throw the ball super deep let me see does he have break start if he has break start then it's nothing really to worry about with this car yeah he, there it is so he's nothing to worry about with this car even even throwing him deep passes he should be good and let's also real fast if i forget look at this coach uh so here it is defensive rebound goes up by five perimeter defense this is if you got steve Curry anyway close shot which i hate but his close shot now is a 99 but I hate that's just like a wasted stat to me when it when it goes boosts his close shot. But offensive rebound goes up as well. I don't think we looked at his rebound. I'm sorry if I kind of skimped over that. I'll go back real fast just to check that out. Driving layup uh, goes up by five. So like I said, that's in the low 90s. Mid range goes up some more. Like I told you, that two that that would go up. Uh, let's. I want to look at his re rebound real fast. He he does in his re okay. 
He rebounds better than his stats show, but you know, 90's not bad in rebounding at all, so you will still be getting what you're supposed to get. So we're gonna play a quick triple threat. I do not like to play full matches um to demonstrate one card because I feel like it's won a lot of time. And two, it really doesn't demonstrate the card like a triple threat match does. A triple threat match really shows what a card can do on both ends because you don't have like other cards, you know, um there. So hold up. Oh boy. Okay, so so we will we will get challenged this game by having to guard a Wilt Chamberlain. Um, so no, actually, Danny Grange is gonna have to guard that Wilt Chamberlain. In fact, but if we get some switches, we'll see we'll see Paul Millsap. So here, um, I had to start a party real fast. That's why I went quiet. And that's why I said my controller. I changed my batteries real fast because before I started recording, they said my batteries low. I didn't want them to die in this game. So here we go. So like I said, we're not even worried about guards on Paul Millsap. Oh wow, we, and we can just abuse this mismatch here. So we'll try post fade here. Couldn't get that one. That was actually well contested, but we couldn't get that one. Uh, it, I want to say, uh, ooh, we're, I was going to say we're there, kind of. I want to say with post, with um, kind of his release with this card, I really don't know how much I like it. So here we go. Here we're going to get a little shot. So like that, look, look at that. And that's, that's a problem with this card. That's one thing is I feel like his release is smooth. You don't green it very often, and then he misses those full bars quite a bit. So it's 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 just kind of yeah. There we go. Look at that defense though. He is a defensive presence. That will say that much. And there he is, like I said, a passer. Even though his passing was like 70s, he can pass and all that good stuff. And like I said, he can play defense inside. Here we go. See, look, he he outspeeds cards like Wood Chamberlain with ease, and he dunks. You know, with his dunk consistency, I didn't show you guys that. It's like 80s. But he dunks pretty much like if 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 he didn't really dunk, that would have been a layup right there. So yeah, I mean this card so far, um, can't complain about it. Like look at them handles there. Uh, he dropped it. Uh, we see we we'll, we'll take one off the dribble. So his difficult shot. He does have a difficult shot on goal, but I think his shot IQ might not be the highest. Is why he might have taken. So look at that. I was hoping that rebound went towards him and Wilt, so it could have showed. So look, look at how we're from the outspeed Wilt, and look at how, like I said, that that's the. Um, we're gonna just kind of, if we want to win this one, we gotta play smart. But that's the kind of like, he doesn't dunk every like every. If that was like Demar or something, Demar, look there we go. So there's that block gonna take place. And we got an open look. We we'll take the two that was off dribble, but like I said, okay, difficult shots. Like I said on. Gold, bad release on that one as well. But obviously, this card is a 95 offensive consistency. I was trying to hope Millsap would pick up, but you guys can see Millsap's playing excellent defense here. Look, he's gonna pretty much outspeed everyone. Just pretty much doing his job here. So. I was gonna say, oh, look, look at me! Oh, we couldn't scoop up the. Uh, there we go. Look how quick, look how quick Millsap is. Look at him. Look how fast he is. Look at him. He jump. He dunks like a LeBron James to me. He dunks like a LeBron James card. He doesn't. It's not much. So here we go. Millsap can finish those oops too. He gets up. I mean. And as you guys can see, his takeover is a glass cleaner. So that is really that is really helpful in terms of like bad in terms of badges on my team. That is one of the more helpful ones, especially like you don't always you're not always finna score with the just because they have the takeover on. But I feel like having um, glass cleaner is always helpful in any situation. Oh, he's gonna leave us open. Bad move, really. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna abuse we're gonna abuse Millsap next next go round. Yeah, he can. Uh, Millsap. I should. I don't know. Sign. Let me go to Millsap because he better see where that's going. So we're gonna try one here. 
Green. So like I said, he he can like he plays almost like a guard in a sense. He plays like a small forward, but like I said, he's easily able to be ran at the power forward. So Millsap knows where that's going. Look how helpful that is, especially in like a triple threat game. So yeah, here we go. Like he's just abusing. That should be that's off, but I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, you can. Oh. Yeah, this guy, I don't know if he's lagging a little bit or not, or just maybe not the just best player. But here we go. Let's see if Millsap can finish this off. Green thing. I mean, like, I don't really know what to say about the car. I mean, he does his job well. He's not, he's exceptional to me, but maybe not to everyone. He doesn't, he might not be exceptional and go beyond and, and above for everyone. But to me, he does his job and he does exactly what I'm looking for in a power for really, and that's to be able to finish, finish at the rim, which he can do very consistently. And look, he outspeeds cards like Wood Chamberlain with ease. Even though Wood Chamberlain is a quick center, he's the, one of the quicker centers out. And let's actually look at Wood Chamberlain's speed. He was outspeeding him with ease and getting to the rim way before Wood could get there. So and Wood has an 81 speed, so he outspeeds even the quickest of centers. So imagine if he's like running with Yao Ming or something like that, or if he's even running with most most power other power forwards aren't this fast. Or imagine if he's playing against Zach Randolph or or you know a Danny you know um, a Josh Smith or so. I think he's even quicker than Josh Smith. So 14 points, he did his job there. Like I said, rebounds, he was able to see all the rebounds because his. Uh, thing you know obviously he can move the ball around he can even throw lobs as you guys saw which any card can do i feel like once you get to diamond up he got some blocks i mean the cars he he does his job i i just have to say leave it at that the car does his job is 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 if if you're looking to see if this Millsap is any good his stats don't translate completely to me because he feels quicker he shoots better than what his stats are but a lot of times i will say the downside is he doesn't green everything. See, I was able to get a couple greens, but he doesn't. He's not. His release isn't as butter as it feels because he does not just green everything. But at the same time, he does shoot really well, even you know, for a um, for his for his stats anyway. And with not, he doesn't have like I say, Hall of Fame. I, did he have Hall of Fame catch and shoot? Or am I thought it was on gold? But you guys seen the badges. You know what he has. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need, if you guys want to see any other card, let me know. Hit me up. We're gonna be doing maybe a Mark Gasol video soon. I mean, I've been meaning to really drop this Paul Millsap video for a long time. Uh, but for now I'm pretty sure everyone has debated that they already want the card or not by now. But hopefully, you guys might be still have been looking or trying to see. I I just got double MT. Is that is that something going on right now? Okay, I was just gonna say. I swear I just got double MT. It, uh, it's two o'clock. Yeah, so I might play a little more uh, triple third matches. With this Millsap card and get some more wins racked up. But he's not a bad triple threat card for sure. He can hold people like center, centers and things like that. And then he can abuse smaller guards. And then he can even abuse other. If you run him at small forward, I guarantee you he can abuse small other small forwards. Like, not I don't want to say LeBron, but um, KD. And he can abuse those um, not as big small forwards. Uh, so, yeah, but obviously not guards like Giannis and LeBron. You won't be able to abuse them guys, but, yeah, you should be able to abuse most of your other ones. So, like I said, I hope you guys help. Leave a comment on who else you want me to do if you guys want seeing me do gameplay or anybody else. Like I said, I do, I do triple threat. So, if you if you feel like watching triple threat highlights is better than watching, like, a game highlight, then, you know, f subscribe to my channel because that's how I demonstrate most of these players or cards is through triple threat online so that's how i just like to show off showcase these cards and i just think that's kind of one of the better ways to do it than just kind of playing like a 5v5 um but anyways like i said if you enjoy please hit the like subscribe um leave a notification i'm pitching notifications on leave a comment and share this video to anyone who might like it as well as a real diversity we're out peace